Today we have Beck, Grow Accessory Sales with award-winning device protection, hosted by Voicecom. If you've joined webinars in the past, you know me, Jen, your hostess with the mostest. I'm the product manager over here at Voicecom, so that means that I'm responsible for getting in all the great products, brands that you guys know and love, and some new ones on the way. Uh, so today, like I said, we're here with Ethan from Spec Products, and he's going to run you guys through a tour of their latest and greatest, along with a couple of tools uh, that Spec makes available to help you guys sell. Awesome. Well, hey, everyone. Thank you, Jen, for the introduction, and uh, to all of you for taking the time to join this live presentation today, or maybe you're just watching this sometime in the future. Either way, we really value your time and want to make the next 20 minutes or so as much worth your while as we can. Uh, so once again, my name's Ethan Walsh, and I'm on the field sales team here at SPEC, and we're super excited for this opportunity to partner with Voicecom and each of you uh, to help grow your accessory sales with award-winning device protection from SPEC. So to start things off, here's a snapshot of some of the items we're gonna cover during the presentation. So I'll share a little bit about who SPEC is as a company, some of the product testing we do, the materials we use and why we stand behind them, and we'll also run through our core design centers, a new product this year from SPEC, and most importantly, the support we offer our valued dealer partners like you. And lastly, uh, we will answer any questions you might have today, and I'll also post my contact information so you can reach out to me at any time. So who is SPEC? We're a leading wireless accessory brand. We're based here in the US, and we've been making device protection for over 18 years. And you can find our cases in over 60,000 doors and 89 different countries. We do all of our engineering and design out of our office in San Mateo, California. And we've got a wide portfolio of products ranging from cell phone cases to tablet folios and even backpacks. So, and I've got to tell you, after working at SPEC for nearly four years, I've come to learn that this company takes great pride in the quality of our products and why we stand behind them 100%. Each of our phone case designs go through a pretty relentless testing uh, with a third party company and that ensures we're putting out the best product we can and have the faith to stand behind our claims. Uh, so some of the uncompromising tests we run are for scratches and hardness. So we want to make sure the materials we use don't wear off or wear out too soon. And we also run impact tests on concrete, dirt, and pavement. And we do that from different heights and multiple angles. And then we also perform camera and flash tests to make sure spec cases don't interfere with taking a perfect picture after the case is installed. So each of our case designs are also put through an environmental chamber and we expose them to like hot and cold temperatures and even high humidity. And lastly, we run chemical and UV tests on them and we want to ensure things like hand sanitizer or the mustard you have on your hands doesn't degrade your phone case <laughs> and it doesn't turn yellow or cloudy after being left out in the sun. So I'm gonna show you a quick 30 second video clip and it's gonna relate a lot of the testing I've just described to some real life scenarios. All right, so side note here, um, a lot of our customers like to have demo loops playing on their TV monitors in their stores. And we're gonna provide a link to this video and a few others so you can download them and use them as you wish. All right, and in this section, we're gonna go through the materials and designs that help spec cases to make an impact 
and take one. We'll also explain the warranty on our new Presidio product and where to direct your customers if they need some support. So unlike many cases in today's market, uh, they're made from conventional materials such as TPE. Uh, SPEC is using a patented shock absorbing material that we call impactium. Uh, we found that impactium will absorb 52% more of the shock and still provide protection without compromising the looks of the case. So SPEC also holds the only patent for coal molded case design and our new Presidio series includes internal ridges that are made out of this impactium and that will add an additional layer of protection that'll help disperse the shock on impact or when you drop your, your phone. And so to wrap it all up with the testing being performed and the patented designs and materials we're using, SPEC can confidently back up their Presidio cases with a lifetime warranty. So for if any reason your customer is not happy with the craftsmanship of their Presidio case, please send them directly to us for a free replacement. In most instances, we won't even have them ship their old case back to us. We typically ask them to email us a picture and send that with a copy of the original sales receipt, and we'll have a new case on their doorstep in typically less than a week. So many of you know that SPEC has a lot of different products and types of cases that we offer. So in this section, we'll take a high level view of our top selling SKUs, or what we call our core design centers. I'm gonna hammer through these pretty quickly, but we're gonna review them again with our top selling SKU recommendations in just a few minutes. So starting off with the most popular of all spec cases, we have Presidio Stay Clear. Uh, this is the number one nationwide best-selling case in the clear category since 2015. It's gonna offer eight feet of drop protection while maintaining a slim profile and it's guaranteed to stay clear. Uh, so your hero device customers of all types will love them, especially for Apple, as it's the most purest way to protect and show off their new phone. Next, we have my personal favorite, Presidio Grip. Now, if you haven't had a chance to put a spec grip case in your hand yet, I'd ask that you please send an email to me. This is one of those cases that once a customer uses it, they will nine out of 10 times be back for another one. So we've got 10 feet of drop protection, a classy and low profile design, and grips that were engineered to keep your phone in your hand no matter which way you hold it. So SPEC offers Presidio Grip in a variety of color options, and in just a few slides, I'm gonna show you the top selling three. All right, so here we got Presidio Show, which is very similar to Presidio Clear, but we were able to add an additional two feet of drop protection by adding the Impactium shock barrier. Uh, it's hidden nicely behind a black or rose gold color trim bezel, and these really look classy on the new iPhone. Oops, back it up one, there we go. And for customers wanting to protect their device without compromising their fashion, Presidio Clear Plus Glitter is a great option for them. So we've, we've taken our best-selling clear SKU and embedded thousands of glitter crystals to give it a dazzling appeal while still providing eight feet of drop protection. And I gotta tell you, you guys, these really look good in direct sunlight. And if you're needing to add more fashion to your lineup, we have a few of our top selling metallic SKUs loaded in at Voicecom as well. So metallic finishes are kind of a timeless design and they've been really popular this past year. Presidio Metallic is gonna bridge that gap of protection without compromise with 10 feet of drop protection and a shimmering metallic look. They're pretty. Yeah, they are. And so before I get in, to this next product, let me tell you about a recent study that some scientists at the University of Arizona did. They actually tested the bacteria levels on the phones from some high school students and found more than 17,000 different bacterial gene copies on each of their phones. Blech. Yeah, that's 10 times the amount of bacteria that's found on most toilet seats. Uh, it's pretty gross and SPEC wants to help give our immune systems a little boost with the antimicrobial technology we used to coat Presidio Pro with. 
So in addition to 10 feet of drop protection, this case is also gonna deflect more than 80% of those harmful pathogens we come in contact with, such as E. coli, strep, MRSA. And not only does it do a great job reflecting all that sickness, it also adds a nice soft touch and, and really helps with the gripping the phone. So this is an awesome case option for health professionals, travelers, uh, people who work out at the gym, and really just about anyone. And if you wanna step up the pro a notch, you can run with Presidio Sport. So not only will you get the same antimicrobial coating, the 10 feet of drop protection and the grippy exterior, you're also going to get 360 degree coverage to protect your phone and all its ports from dirt, dust, and splashes. So this again is a great option for anyone who likes to work out at the gym, run on the beach, and even play outdoor sports. And for the ultimate in drop dirt and dust protection, Spec offers Presidio Ultra. So now this case is really a blend of Presidio Pro and Presidio Sport all in one. It actually is a pro case, but it comes with a removable bumper, which will add the additional five feet of drop coverage and port protection. So that's 15 feet total. So imagine having all the benefits of pro during your weekday, and when you wanna be a weekend warrior or an everyday warrior, you can add the bumper for additional defense and include the rugged holster to free up your pockets or stand your phone up while you watch a video. So. This bumper has been tested with all types of glass, so don't miss out on that extra sale and provide your customer with the best of the best in phone protection. And last but not least for phone cases, we have the Presidio Lite. So this is a newer product um, and it's a great opportunity to offer the spec brand with military grade protection and a lifetime warranty for an MSRP of 25 bucks. So Presidio Lite offers all this to customers purchasing a tier three handset and not wanting to spend an arm and a leg to protect it. So this case is available uh, for most flagship devices with a cost under $400. So that would be devices like LG Stylo 4, Moto E5 Play, and Galaxy A6. So please check with Voicecom for availability on Presidio Lite and what we have coming down the pipeline for it. All right, our last slide for product is Balance Folio. So this case offers the perfect balance of drop protection and a slim design for a tablet. So it has the essential benefits of four feet of drop protection, a secure closure, and it stands up for multiple viewing angles. So we have a custom fit folios for Apple, Samsung, and other OEMs, but we also offer two universal sizes. The small size is seven to eight and a half inches, and the larger size covers tablets from nine to 10 and a half inches. So two SKUs cover a lot of tablets. So going on from there. All right, you guys, this is probably gonna be my most favorite slide in the presentation today. Uh, not just because I made it, but <laughs> because if I were to open a store with the sales data that I have from spec, these are the top selling SKUs I'd want on my peg. So, one of the things about the sales team here at SPEC is we're not in this to see how many SKUs we can load up in your stores. I would much rather have the top eight selling SKUs moving at high velocity than have a wall full of product that sells just okay. So I always tell my new partners that I don't want two things to happen. I don't want a customer to walk in your store and not see a case that they like. And I don't want to walk in your store and see dust on any spec cases hanging on a hook. So we compile monthly sales data from every channel we're sold in. So remember back I mentioned 60,000 doors? That's a lot of data. And we share this information with Voicecom and our dealer partners. So let's just run through these real quick. Uh, we've got number one again, Presidio State Clear. If you are gonna bring in any grip cases from spec, I highly recommend these three top sellers, black, gray, and blue. Um, I always say, you know what, if you're just bringing spec in for the first time, I, I want you to be super successful with our product. So I say, hey, bring in clear, bring in these grip, and sprinkle a little glitter in there. So the Bella Pink glitter is number one selling glitter for our fashion. And then if you wanna add extras, certainly, Presidio Sport, 
Um, Presidio Pro is great. Uh, there's a couple different color options for each of those. Same with Presidio Show. And then when we get to the ultra rugged case like Presidio Ultra, we highly recommend black. So honestly, these here, um, these are our top movers. So I, I definitely wanted to share that with you today. And we do update this. We update it on a monthly and quarterly basis. So that's one of the great things about working closely with your Voicecom account managers and people like me. So now let's give you a quick sneak peek at a new product we just launched. It's called GrabTab. And here it is featured in black and blue in both open and closed positions. So this is an accessory you can sell for an MSRP of 10 bucks that works with almost all cases. It'll adhere to the back of the device and it provides an easy to grip loop for your finger or you can use it like pictured here to stand your phone with. So what's best about the grab tab is that you can wirelessly charge your device with it on. And it's only about three millimeters thin, so you can slide it easily in and out of your pockets. And we'll have these available in several different colors. So again, please check with Voicecom to see what our current top sellers are. Okay, last segment here. You know, Spec can put out the best phone cases in the world, but if we can't back them up with the best support for our dealers, then we're just another name brand hanging on your wall. So I have one more slide to show you that will outline some of the ways we can help support your business and grow your accessory sales. But before I do, I wanna mention, I know this is not a one size fits all program, especially in the dealer channel. What works good for a big box store in Minneapolis might not be what works for a repair store in Tucson or a wireless dealer in Grand Forks. The sales teams at Spec and Voicecom are here to work together. We want to partner with you. We want to learn about your business and provide you with the best support we can. Absolutely. Yep. So here's a snapshot of some of the things Spec offers to help grow your accessory sales. So we can provide you with obviously new product samples. Um, you need samples, um, shoot me an email. I'd love to send you samples. I think that's probably the best way to decide which product you wanna bring in. I'm not gonna send you any samples of product that doesn't sell well. I'm gonna be sending you top selling samples. And we'll, again, we'll also share our current top selling SKUs. All you have to do is ask. And again, I try to be proactive and reach out as well and definitely keep that um, information rolling over to Voicecom. So a couple of times a year, we run a nationwide free case program. So every single dealer can have their reps go on and complete a little five minute e-learn lesson and earn a free case. Uh, I always love having the cases in the hands of those frontline sales reps. And we also have merchandising displays in-store signage and even digital media available. Like the video I ran, we have several of those. We're gonna post a link uh, so that you can download them and, and any of this other stuff that interests you, um, get in touch with me. I'd love to help you out there. So we also have a field marketing team. Um, they're located in about 14 cities across the US. They, they really help a lot to train, uh, they maximize sales and support any special events you have going on. So, you know, ultimately we're really flexible and wanna be creative with you. So, you know, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing what we can do to best support your business in these areas. So I just wanna thank you guys very much for your time. Um, here's my contact info. If we haven't had a chance to meet or talk yet, please reach out to me. Um, let me send you some samples. Let, love to learn about your business and, you know, support you however I can. So thanks a lot, everyone. I think we're going to open it up for questions you might have. Awesome. Thank you, Ethan. That was a great presentation. Uh, ran through a lot there. I'd also like to add that your voice comm sales rep can help you with a lot of these things, too. So if, you, you know, if you're working closely with them, definitely uh, keep them in the loop. Um, Ethan did also point to some merchandising displays, and those are available on our website as well. You can't order them directly, but you can see what the qualifications are to get one, and then reach out to your sales rep to, to help you get that going. Um, Spec is really, really one of the, the better vendors at, at merchandising displays, and I'm not hey. just saying that because he's sitting next to me. We're lenient. Hey, if you want to put our product up in your store, I'm going to give you a display to do it with, so that's awesome. You heard the man here. 
Um, okay, so it looks like we had a few questions roll in. Um, you can still type them in if you haven't just yet. Let's see what we got. All right, so Joe wants to know, could you break down the cost of each accessory versus MSRP? Um, it's tricky to talk a little about cost because, um, you know, it may be different for different people. We can talk about MSRP though. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, so when it comes to cost, that's that's one thing you'll have with me is I really don't get into um, your your cost of, your of a product. Rate. I will make sure that your margins are nice and wide. Um, that's important to us. We want you to be super profitable. I I don't want to be way off the mark for my competition. So you know, we definitely, again, like I mentioned, this is not a one size fits all program. So we'll look at every single customer on that level. Now, when it comes to MSRP, um, you know, most of our cases are 39 bucks um, for the small size or regular size. If it's a plus size, they're usually 40, but they can go to 40 and 45 for like some of the higher end units like, um, you know, Presidio Sport, um, Presidio Ultra, um, but most most cases are between 30 and 40 bucks. Your margins definitely, you know, over 50 percent. I can tell you that. Um, you know, I, I try to shoot for that 55 to 60 points at least. So again, I don't get into pricing, but you know, we we want you to be profitable. We want the customer to be happy. So yeah, we we have pretty healthy margins on spec products. Um, Joe also wants to know. If a customer is using your case, drops their phone, and cracks either the screen or the back glass, do you have any cases that include protection for the phone itself, or is the warranty just on the case? Yeah, so um, the lifetime warranty that we offer is just for the case. Um, there's just so many different variables involved with how that phone was dropped. Uh, was it ran over by an airplane? I mean, we, you know, it's really hard to tell. But I will say this, you know, we're a company and you know we definitely care about you know our brand image and everything else if if there was a, a legitimate situation where you know maybe a phone was damaged we definitely look at those on a case by case basis i won't say that we haven't replaced a phone here or there but it's not something that we include in our limited lifetime warranty of our cases so again we want everybody to be happy if it's that one situation where you know, we might have to might have to bite it and buy a phone here and there. We'll do that. Um, but again, it's on a case by case basis. Cool. Thank you. Good question, Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt here. I like the name he used. Is the Tabby guaranteed to work with any wireless charging capable device and spec case? What happens if someone puts it on a different case? Also, if it needs to be pre repositioned, is it a one time stick? Yeah. Okay. So the grab tab. Yeah. So. Okay, really good questions. Um, and let's see, let's start from the first one. It was multiple here. Is it guaranteed to work with any wireless charging capable device? It is guaranteed to work with any wireless charging capable device. And we say that because we've tested it. We literally went to the store and bought as many of these different uh, wireless chargers as you possibly can. <laughs> and um, you know, that was important to us because we know there are other options out there. Um, one in particular that's been super popular um, where it does not work with wireless charging. So for us to, you know, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're trying to make something better or, or just an, another option, especially for those that like to, you know, wirelessly charge their device. So um, it, it definitely does. And then the next one was, can you take it off? Yes. And that was the other um important thing for us is that we didn't want to be a well you stuck it on and stuck kind of like you know glass for your screen um for us we wanted to be able to um, use a material that was able to you know you're able to pull off the grab tab and you know readhese it to another device and we do actually have specific instructions on how to do that and believe it or not it's you, you pick from the upper left corner of the grab tab and you just kind of slowly pry it away, and you should be able to re-adhese it at least, you know, six, seven times to other cases. Um, so, yep, no problem reusing it there, and if it needs to be repositioned, same thing. But the cool thing is, is once it's on, 
it is really on. You're going to feel like you can't get it off, but again, grab it by the upper left corner. That's where we've given it a little bit of leeway so you can remove and reinstall. Awesome. Good uh, loaded question there, Matt. Or not loaded, but lots of questions, lots of questions in one. Questions in there, yep. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Kyle wants to know, or actually has a suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, the grip cases are popular. Yes, agreed. They are. But you can't attach pop sockets or even the spec grab tab, yes. it seems. Having more flat surface on the center back of the cases yep. would be great. Is this something your design team is yeah, thinking Kyle, of? Yeah, Kyle, that, um, that is a very valid point. And we actually, as a sales team and even our marketing team, we're hearing that from the field and bringing it up to our, our product team um, regularly. Um, their response is this. Um, grip cases are just that. They're kind of the people that are going after grip cases love that low profile yet grippiness of them. Um, they're, it's like a cult following of these grip case buyers. And we find that most of them don't really want those other products that the grips that that grip case comes with is what they want. Um, we don't want to change the design too much because as I mentioned earlier, um, the grip design wasn't just made because, hey, this pattern looks good. We've actually tested it with um, heat sources to find out um, where your fingers and hands hold on to your device, whether it be vertical or horizontal, maybe when gaming. So the design of the grips is there for a reason. So unfortunately, that gap in the middle um, just doesn't play well with these secondary um, products. No grippier grip. <laughs> Grippier grips, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. That's a really yeah, good thank one. you. Uh, Daniel here said, "Do you foresee a point where the grab tabs will have licensed pictures or images on them?" That's awesome. We have been bringing this up um, a lot. You know, whether it's an NFL team or a, a, a game character, or, you know, whatever. Um, we've been asking for that for cases and grab tab and. As much as we'd like it, um, what we'd really, I think Spec as a company, what we really want to do is focus on trying to make the best product available out there at, you know, a really affordable price where we can all make some good margins on it without having to pay a licensing fee. It's not something that's completely off the table, but once you start involving, you know, you know, different types of licensing fees. Uh, it, it really changed the dynamics and what I make and what you make on that product. So we'll see. We'll see. And there are some designs, though they are not licensed. You can check them out on our website if yeah. you haven't seen pictures yep. of them. Yeah. Uh, but if you do go the NFL route, I'm first in line for an okay. Eagles sample. Go Birds! Eagles. Okay. <laughs> I'm from Minnesota, so I don't want to hear it. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna mute you real quick while I eat you up. Um, great question. Thank you. Uh, Enrique wants to know, do you have the latest flagship phone cases on all SKUs? For example, iPhone 10s, 10R, yeah. Note 9, Pixel 3. Yeah, they do. Yes, we've got everything covered and not just the Hero devices. We've really beefed up our Tier 2 and Tier 3 devices. So uh, we've got cases for every device out there and especially the Hero devices, um, the Tier 2s, Tier 3s. You, you get slimmer pickings on what SKUs are available, but we try to have something for everybody, at least clear and grips, um, and definitely glitter after that. Um, but yes, for all the devices you mentioned, um, every single one of the SKUs we talked about today are- so, uh, Speaking from a buyer's perspective, I do have to say that Spec is one of the, uh, you guys support the most devices for, for the most part. You guys have a, a wide offer. Um, I know, Somebody asked me for a random tier two I've never heard of. You, you and Krishan <laughs> usually have a skewed right up ready for me to go. Yep. So, all right, let's see here. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. Kyle here said, I was late to the webinar. If you didn't talk about it, can you tell us how spec drop test the cases to get the eight foot, 10 foot, 12 foot rating? Absolutely. Yeah. Do they have to pass a certain percentage of test drops, et cetera? Yes, they do. Um, so, well, you know, back when we first started making cases they were more candy shell type and that was mil spec um, so basically it's what is it uh, it's four feet four foot drops 30 times on all I don't remember if it's 20 or 24 corners edges angles and everything it's, it's a specific military uh, testing procedure so the case in phone would have to be dropped at a certain angle and all this and that 
So we've basically just taken that and more than doubled that height. So it's the same amount of testing, um, just from a higher height. So we went from that standard military mill spec of four feet, and we went all the way up to 10 feet, and that's where these cases are passing, um, with the exception of ultra, which is 15 feet, and also with the exception of our clear and glitter, which is eight, because we don't have that impactium shock barrier. But the testing's all done through a third party company. We don't wanna do our own in-house testing because we don't think that's very fair. And we need to know because if we're gonna lifetime warranty a case, um, we can't make those claims and not follow through with them. We'll go out of business quick. So yeah. um, definitely the testing's there. That would be very expensive yes, to warranty a crummy case. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Kyle. And better late than never. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you're here. Mm -hmm. All right. Ryan here said, when I try to sell a product to my customers, I like to use facts to sell my products. He said the cases are tested with environmental tests. Does the case have an available IP rating for liquid resistance, for example? Uh, that's a really good question. And you know what? I bet you we can get that answer from my product manager. Um, he's not here with us, unfortunately, today, but I will say this. When I talked about the environmental chamber, what we're really looking for is to see how our materials respond to extreme temperatures, like, you know, really super hot down in Mexico and really super subarctic cold where I'm from in Minnesota. And then as far as the um, you know, the moisture test isn't so much like, you know, splashing water or submerging it in water. It's more like a humidity test because we can be in those tropical, humid areas as well. And it's not testing to see if the phone will stay waterproof. It's testing to see, hey, if this grip case is, you know, put into a humid area for, you know, several hours, is it going to make the grip come apart from the case itself and stuff like that. So that's the kind of testing we're doing is when we do all that testing, when I showed those slides, that was on our product, not so much the product on the phone. Cool. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Great, Great question. question. Yep. All right. Looks like those are all the questions we had for today. Um, again, if anything comes up, you think of something after the webinar, three in the morning, you wake up like, oh my God, I need to know this. Email uh, me. <laughs> email Ethan. Yeah. Uh, his email is up on the screen right now, yeah. ethan.walsh at specproducts.com. Or you can reach out to me at webinars at myvoicecom.com or also your sales rep at voicecom. They'd be happy to help too. Um, I really want to thank you all for joining. I know the holidays are a very, very busy time uh, for you guys out in the field. So I really appreciate that you took the time. This is actually one of our highest attendance. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Crushed it today. Uh, so again, I, I'm glad you guys are here. Good luck to everybody with the giveaway drawing. Some awesome questions asked. And again, I, I am bribed with questions. So thank you for choosing Voicecom and Spec Products. I hope to see you guys on our next installation of the Voicecom webinar series. Happy holidays. Thanks, guys. Happy holidays. Thank you.